In the previous video, what we did is we labeled all the angle measurements in degrees on this inner circle on the unit circle, thinking about the unit circle as a clock face with all of the hours labeled. So now we're going to do it in radians. So starting in radians, on the positive x-axis, we've got zero radians. Okay, so now think of this whole outer circle here. We know that's 180 degrees, which is the same thing as pi radians. Okay, so we've got a full pi for half of the circle. If, if half of the circle is a full pi, then straight up must be half of that pi, so pi over 2. If I were to add another half a pi to that, I'd get 2 pi over 2, which is the same thing as pi when you reduce it. Add another half, so 1 plus a half gives me 3 halves, which is straight down. Same thing as 270. Add another half to 3 halves, and I get 4 halves. And of course, 4 halves pi reduces to 2 pi. Same thing as 360, it's a full circle. Okay, next, think of the clock hours again. At 2, 1, 12, 10, oh, that's 11, 10, and 9. Notice that what those break it into, into is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal parts. So if I take a full pi and break it up into 6 equal parts, each one of them has to be a sixth. So this must be pi over 6. The next one is 2 pi over 6, but that reduces. It reduces to pi over 3. The next one is 3 pi over 6, which reduces to pi halves, which is right there at 90 degrees. And then the next one should be, that's 2 halves, or 2 thirds, 2 six, 3 six, 4 six, or pi over 6, which reduces to 2 thirds. Four six. This next one is five six, and then six six of course reduces to pi. So going beyond pi, that's six six. This must be seven pi over six. The next one would be eight pi over six, which reduces to four thirds, four pi over three. So eight six straight down is 9 6 which reduces to 3 pi over 2 and then 10 pi over 6 that's a 10 not a 16 which reduces to 5 thirds pi 10 6 and then finally 11 6 pi all right we're almost done now we just have to get the ones that split the 90 degrees in half so 90 degrees is the same thing as pi over 2. If I split that in half, I get pi over 4. Notice that each of these breaks pi into force. So there's this one here is 1 fourth. This was 2 fourths, which reduces to pi halves. The next one should be 3 fourths pi. Pi is the same thing as 4 fourths next dot is 5 fourths, whoops, in here, 5 pi over 4, 6 fourths reduces to this 3 pi halves, 7 pi over 4, it's the next one in the middle, and then 8 pi over 4 reduces to 2 pi. And that completes all of the radian angle measurements around the unit circle.